Welcome to Live from Carl Schertz Park. My name is Banford Weissman and I'm a landscape designer and a horticulturist. And today I'm going to introduce you to some of our most important park friends, our native bees. Many people don't realize that without bees and their pollination services, we wouldn't have most of the fruits, nuts, and vegetables that we eat. Basically, bees help make our planet habitable. And the sad thing is, we are inadvertently killing them off. When we develop land, build roads, and put in our tidy lawns, we are wiping out their homes and habitats. In fact, more than half of native bee species are in decline, and a quarter of them are headed towards extinction. Misinformation has made many people afraid of bees, but our native bees are practically harmless. If you've ever been stung by a bee, chances are you are stung by a honeybee, and honeybees are not native. We brought them in from Europe as a managed species to help with our crop production. So let's go see what our friends are up to. We have many different types of native bees in the park. Bumblebees, sweat bees, leaf cutting bees, mason bees, and carpenter bees. And in the bee world, the females control most everything. They're the ones who build and maintain the nest and take care of their young. Some bees have nests in the ground, others carve them into wood. Most native bees are solitary or live in small female-based cooperatives. They don't live in hives. The bees gather pollen from flowers, pushing it into little pockets on their legs or collecting it on the fur of their bellies and take it back home to feed their babies. All day, they go back and forth doing this. As they go about collecting pollen, moving from flower to flower, they also cross-pollinate the plants, which results in the plant's seed production. That process ultimately produces food for us and other animals and also ensures the plant species' own survival. So we're not the only ones that depend on bees. Here are some of the things we do at the park to support our bees. Most important, we plant predominantly native plants. This is important because bees need access to the local plants that have co-evolved with them over thousands of years. In maintaining the park's garden areas, we leave up old stalks throughout the winter in case our cavity nesting bees need them. We try to protect certain areas from foot traffic so that ground nesting bees can be safely undisturbed. And we weave fences out of sticks so that our mason bees and carpenter bees have a place to make their nests. I invite you to come to the park and watch the bees at work. If you'd like to help support the bees in your area, check out the Native Plant Finder website developed by the National Wildlife Federation and it'll show you which are the best plants for supporting bees in your neighborhood. Each one of us has the power to help save our native bees. And at the park, we are determined to help them in any way that we can.